Hi guys, it's uh, Dozer. Dozer Drives. Welcome to my channel. Um, hope the wind is not going to mess around too much with our video, with our audio today. But uh, I just have to do this quickly because the car that we have this week is about to go. I have been uh, running around in this big, big, big one. This is the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. It's an old one already. Um, it's about two years old now. A uh, facelift model. So I've had this car this week, not really as a tester. Um, I already tested this uh, car two years ago. But just as a, you know, um, an experience. Uh, just to see the car again and uh, be reminded of what Toyota uh, can do in terms of uh, the mix of reliability and robustness uh, with luxury and tech. Uh, it's not uh, it's not the most uh, fully kitted um, car that you know in terms of all the all the safety tech that you that, that you find these days, but um, it's up there. Uh, it's relevant still. Uh, what can we say about this? So this is a Land Cruiser Prado VXL. So the L here st doesn't really stand for the length or like an extended uh, wheelbase, but uh, L is for luxury, I would say. Um, really, really, really uh, neat vehicle. Uh, just as a, just as a, a little um, aside these plates I made these plates um, but this is the only vehicle that I can use these plates on all the other vehicles have um, the long horizontal plates um, they're supposed to fit, fit on there uh, but like the, the horizontal ones uh, they should be fitting on there but um, I don't know. Toyota and their design um, they use they use the square plates at the back here for the for the Prado. It's uh, ugh, there's nothing much there's nothing much to um, highlight outside. Um, the tail lights LEDs now, uh, and then there's a new like a, a, a gloss black surround. Um, new wheels. Um, New design, uh, they've gone bigger or anything. Still the nice 19s. The car has air suspension, so even with the reduced profile of the tires there, the car is actually very, very, very uh, soft uh, in, in, in this ride. What they've changed also at the front is the grill, just the grill pattern, and the most significant is the headlights. The older one had um, a bit of an extension here um, for the headlights. Uh, now it is gone. Now it's more horizontal and the more extended to the back there. Let's uh, jump inside and see what's what. Let's start climbing here at the back. Um, you've got your bench seat. These uh, have a 60-40 split and they recline. So you can, different angles here for the back rests. Um, the car is a seven seater. There's uh, two more seats at the back here. Um, let's just show you quickly. There's two seats here. I'm not gonna pull them out. But to just fold flat the, the middle bench, it's as easy as a tug. 
Okay, someone was uh, reclining <laughs> at the back. A bit too much, but uh, anyway. We've also got armrest. Center armrest with a couple of those. My son uses that armrest as a baby seat. <laughs> a little booster. Also at the back here, the guys at the back have their own climate control. It's a single zone. That means it's one temperature for both sides of the back. But they've also got heated and cooled seats here at the back. The outer bent, the outer seats um, are heated and cooled. All right, stepping into the Prado. And first, the first thing that, a, that the, an owner would experience is um, in terms of luxury is this uh, comfort access for um, getting in and, out, in and out of the car. The steering wheel uh, just goes away or comes forward, depending on what you're doing. You're turning the car on this is pretty cool. You turn it off, goes away. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty neat um, a feature for this car. Um, uh, there's lots of more toys uh, here. We're talking um, um, torque or socket. A USB A port plug point. Uh, there's more at the back. Um, no USB Cs, um, as I was, uh, as I said that uh, there's lots of tech here, but it might not be, um, you know, the latest stuff. But hey, I'm not complaining. I don't have any. Um, gadgets that need USB-C uh, charging uh, plugs so that's all good um, you've got heated and cool seats for the driver and passenger here at the front uh, in terms of driving modes uh, you've got eco and comfort Eco and Comfort, Normal Mode, Sport S and Sport S Plus. So what these do is they will change uh, the just the behavior of the engine and the gearbox in terms of throttle response. Um, it will either give you a quicker shifts or it, um, it, it, it will hold those... Um, It'll hold those shifts to higher up in the rev range, um, depending on what you want. To, do you want fuel economy or do you want um, some get up and go? And this car has some get up and go. Uh, remember that uh, this facelift um, got a little power spike from one from 130 kilowatts, um, 420 newton meters. Um, now it has a 150 kilowatts and. 450 newton meters, 450 uh, newton, newton meters of torque. Ah, no, 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 sorry, <laughs> 500. It's got 150 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque. Um, just like in the in the Hilux, uh, the 2.8 GD6. This car has a lot of um, off-road tech as well. Um, it's riding on air suspension so you can adjust the height of um, the vehicle depending on if you can adjust it manually depending on if you see a certain obstacle that you want to just um, clear or there's the multi-terrain response system uh, that will just uh, uh, control the 4x4 or the four-wheel drive uh, system depending on the terrain that you're, you're on, a mud, a sand, or 
or tarmac or, or wet tarmac that kind of thing um, you can turn the traction control off or with, on empty on a multi-terrain uh, uh, on multi-terrain mode this knob just changes um, the amount of um, traction control um, that the system is going to impose on the vehicle you know um, if, it, if it's going to allow you know the, the degree that it allows uh, wheel slip you know um, yeah it, 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 cha it changes the amount of traction control um, that the system is going to impose on the vehicle the Prado has a rear diff lock and a center diff uh, for those really really serious um, um, off-roaders we're gonna really really get it stuck in it's a six-speed automatic gearbox which is not the quickest in terms of shifts but it does the job you are not going to be doing any sporty driving that will want you or that will need for you to have you know all those quick shifts but the car you know the car flies um, the car flies very, very, um, yeah, it's it, it accelerates well beyond like 160, 180. It it, it 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 stops going over 195 just because the computer is stop is telling it to stop <laughs> to like you know, it's like a limiter because they're like a um, a, a really um, like a, a limiter that you can really feel. That uh, it's cutting power off as soon as you get to like 195 um, kilometers an hour. What other nice tech you've got here? You've got dual, um, dual um, climate control, um, and from here at the front you can also control the rear. You can also control that uh, that rear climate control zone at the back. The car comes with a uh, sat nav, um, it's got uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto connection that you can um, connect your, your Apples and your Android phones. Um, steering wheel, nice and comfortable. I don't like this too, this bike, whatever, this um, leather and then this wood here. When I'm, t you know, when I'm, when, when I'm turning or something, and then I, you know, when I'm doing this or something, it's just not, it doesn't feel right. One, the one time I'm, I've got grip and then all of a sudden this slips and then I've, the car doesn't uh, now keep the circle, the turning, the turning circle that I, I that I'm dialing in, you know. Um, you've got electric folding mirrors uh, that you can control there um, it's got auto headlights auto um, auto dim and high beam you can wash your high your your headlights as well it's got headlight washers and you can change your the level the level of um, of the beam in front of you um, The front seat has a uh, two position memory, which is uh, pretty neat. And you can just control it. So this car has a 360 degree, so this car has a 360 degree camera. And you can just, uh, at any point, just press this view button. Um, and it will show it will give you options on which camera would you like to look at if you like to look at all the cameras or one of the cameras maybe the the left wheel or the right wheel or the front it'll it, it'll show you that idle up i've never, I, I never used this button but i'm thinking it's for um just to get you get the car warmed up quicker in the morning um, sort of like a choke 
you remember the choke uh, back in the day? I'm guessing that's what it is. I never used that um, function. Cup holders here. A little hiding tray here. It, not even a phone fits here. I don't know what you're gonna put in there. And yeah, you've got your nice uh, glove box there. Good space. And a moon roof. Um, sunroof, moon roof, it's the same thing. Um, not a panel like everybody would, uh, I'm guessing, would want. Another cool feature for the Prado VXL is a fridge. Right there. So this is a fridge. For your drinks, your non-alcoholic drinks. <laughs> uh, I know um, four by four people and uh, their drinks out there in the bush. I'm not. I'm not sure it's gonna be soft drinks, but um, yeah, this car is um, very.